Welcome to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge down here in hell. Another annex of Rock Tropia. And I was just actually thinking, you know, uh, I was doing some mining down here and I thought, you know, maybe I should just do a series on profitable mining in the Entropia universe. And that actually should be an oxymoron because when is there ever profitable mining in anything or profitable anything in the Entropia universe? But uh, I actually have been able to, over time, put together a profitable system, uh, earning just a, you know a little pack or ped here, or and, and or just keeping the ped on my card a little bit longer, or a lot longer in this case, this whole year. Uh, the last twelve months has been pretty easy to do because I I laid the groundwork before, so that's what I wanted to do. And I figured this would probably come out every every week. Uh, until I run out of topics, and I probably have about 24 mining topics. To, so that's 24 weeks. We'll send, then we take suggestions or whatever as we go along. But uh, yeah, why not? Why not do this and let's, uh, let's get information out there as opposed to just hoarding it and keeping it to ourselves. Because the more money that's flowing around in resources uh, it, in the Entropia universe, it helps us all. It doesn't hurt us to have more resources moving around uh, for crafting uh, as well, because we all need crafted items at some point. So let me uh, let me start with the the first topic, which is getting missions. One of the most important things you can do for yourself uh, mining in the Entropia universe is to pick up every single mining mission, whether you can actually get that resource or not. And I mean every single mission. These are the only mining missions here on Rocktropia down in hell. These five poor thieves are hung, but they give you missions. And uh, I just finished the Listerium one, so I'm up to Listerium three. But you got to go to those places and you have to get every single mission, regardless of your skill level or, you know, the ability to find the resource. If you're new to the Entropia universe, of course, one of the best places to come is Port Atlantis and talk to Mining Guild representative here. This, uh, this representative has so many missions, it will take you forever to complete them all and to get the credit for them. But the reason you want to get all the missions is so that whenever you drop a mining probe, or a bomb as we like to call them, whenever that happens and you hit something, you get credit for it. Because that just, it sucks not to get credit for it. It takes so much energy and effort to do this in the first place, uh, you're just you're killing yourself if you don't try to get some sort of credit for it. So that's why I say pick up every single mission you possibly can. So the logical progression is once you have all these mining missions and you want to go mining, you need to know actually where to find the resource. I think that's one of the biggest things I have ever seen in mining videos from all, all levels in the, of... Uh, streamers to YouTubers, it, in the forums, whatnot. People don't know where to find the resources. And actually, it's really, really straightforward and easy to find these resources if you use things like Little Big Mining Log. Uh, and that's just one example. Entropia Life is also another great example. So let me show you first Little Big Mining Log. When you first come to the Little Big Mining Log site, you'll probably see this screen, especially if you're in Firefox. And uh, this is just referring to the downloading of the particular software that Little Big Mining Log provides. If you don't want to download that software, no problem. There is no risk to going actually into the site. I'm going to say click on Ignore Risk and go to the site to look at the maps uh, that have been provided here. They are a tremendous resource. These things, uh, this is Calypso, but these maps will tell you where to find every single resource on Calypso, as well as Cyrene, as well as Rocktropia, Hell, uh, specifically Hell, um, and then, let's see, Monria, Arcadia, you know, um, this is this is an amazing feature, and you can see the percentages, and if you zoom in, actually, to, on the map a little bit, I just actually just hit Control Plus and go in to zoom in on the map, you can see in detail what resource is found in what area. And I think that's probably the most important tool to have. Uh, little Big Mining Log has a little bit of lag to it, about uh, 60 to 90 days, but that's not really a big issue because you can see that data in uh, is probably as close to real time as you want to see it on Entropia Life. So you can see if the re where the resources are being hit uh, and 
in what quantity and so on and so forth, what areas are hitting. But one of my favorite things is I, I see streamers and YouTubers all the time going and looking for listerium and oil. And if you look at the Atlantis Archipelago, which is down here a little bit, you could see, oh, let me, let me scroll down a little bit here. There it is right at the bottom of the screen, listerium and uh, crude oil. Only resources you can possibly find there, 100%. And people are always looking, oh, i got to go find oil, and they don't go mine on the archipelago. I'm like, why don't you just go there? Because that's all there is there, right? And that's just one of those examples. If you were looking for something else like Glossarium or, uh, you know, a Melchi, you, this map will tell you exactly where to find it. Uh, and that is, for Calypso, that is an amazing resource. And to utilize it and not to be afraid of coming to Little Big Mining Log and utilizing it is the key to your success. At least it certainly has been the key to my success in trying to find good uh, places to mine the exact ores that I need. Many of the other planet partners have had really nice contributions from their players uh, and their player base. And this is a great map on Cyrene Secrets to show you where to find and mine certain resources on Cyrene. And Honestly, I mapped all of Cyrene before I ever even looked at this. I did. I used a little big mining log to find all of my resources on Cyrene before I ever used this tool, and that was a mistake on my part because I threw a lot of pet away trying to figure this out. So, if you ever need, if you're mining on Cyrene, come to Cyrene Secrets and look this up. And let's look at Monria next because Monria has done such a nice job as well. Yeah, once you get to the Monria site, you can see that they put it all together for you. I mean, the actually by by location. Uh, as well as end matter and ore. Look at these maps. I mean, those are, this is a little big mining log map, but look at that. That's right on the website, and it tells you which crater is hitting which particular ore. Or this, this is just ores in this instance. But end matter is uh, in, the, in the coming instances here, so this is the next map. Look at these concentrations. This is really, really useful. So I guess really what I'm trying to get at here is if you know where to mine, or in the case of... Monria, where not to mine, which is the next map, you can really do well in succeeding uh, as a profitable miner. I mean, look at these. These, these are like yeah, the coolest drawings, right? That's where not to mine. And that's really what I'm trying to get after. Uh, in my experience, the way to be a successful miner in the Entropy universe is knowing where to mine and for what. And you're 50% of the way there. The next thing is knowing what tools to use, and uh, what those tools actually do for you. But I'll jump into the tools deal uh, in another video. I just wanted to show you the sites that I use to help me find ores and matters and, and the places that I want to go and mine, specifically just the three so far. But to let you know that that resource is out there and that you can use it for free to make your mining better. And that I've, I've used it over and over and to find things like Quantium, which sells for 150% markup currently. That helps pay the bills in Entropia when I go out and hunt and so forth and lose money doing that. So I hope this helps some of you. Uh, certainly, if you haven't subscribed to the channel be, before, please do so and uh, hit like or dislike if you, if you don't like. And I'm always open to taking uh, comments and suggestions down in the comments section. And thank you all for watching. Ciao for now.